Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. So in today's video I am going to show you my TBR list for springtime. Currently I'm filming this as it's raining outside so it doesn't really feel like spring yet. But anyway, I have selected five books. I have them right here. They're all in Dutch so I will just give you the English title so you can find one in your language. And the reason why I'm setting myself TBRs is because my goal for this year is to read 20 books and that means that like every season I have to read about five books. Is that correct? Yes. And that's why I've selected five books today and I will talk you through them and hopefully that way I can reach my goal. And I have selected one historical non-fiction, so a true story. I have selected a YA contemporary novel, one historical fiction, and then two, I don't know if they count as historical fictions, I guess so, at least one of them is in historical fiction, but they're kind of light-hearted. I'll just show you. Um, so the first book, that I selected is written by Santa Montefiore and it's called Villa Magdalena I think in English as well oh no it's called The House by the Sea I'm sorry so this is really an historical fiction but it's like a really summery light kind of book if you know what I mean it starts in 1968 and it also has a storyline in 2000 and Nine. So basically this book is about a girl who really likes to explore and she found this really cool house and she's a little bit obsessed by it but then one day she gets caught when she's sneaking around. That like has a lot of impact for the future and I don't really know anything more about the story than this. I'm really excited about reading this because I just feel like it's a light-hearted book and it's gonna have some romance in it and it's just gonna be a good change um, when I'm constantly reading historical fictions about World War II. This is like a welcome change. And the second book that I've selected is also written by Santa Montefiore. This one is a bit thicker and it's also a light-hearted book. And this is about a girl who has really not much to remember her dad by because her parents split up when she was really young and she only has like a butterfly box. That's the only thing that remembers her of her dad. And then at a certain point in her life she decides that she wants to go and look for her dad so that's really what the book is about did I say what it was called? it's called the butterfly box and yeah I just think this will be really nice to read in spring as well so those were the two light hard fluffy romantic kind of books then moving on to the next one which is an historical non-fiction I think everybody knows this book. Oh, something's falling out. So I think everybody knows this book by now. It's uh, The Tattooist of Auschwitz. And this is the story about really the person who has to tattoo the numbers on the um, people who were captured by the German people. So most of them were Jewish. And if not all of them but anyway this person is also Jewish and he has the job to turn people into numbers and there is this one uh, girl that he falls in love with when he was giving her the tattoo at a certain point in their life I don't really know in detail yet but at a certain point in their life they get to meet again and they become a couple and it's not until I think um, the girl, um, what is her name, when Hita dies that um, the tattooist wants to talk about everything what happened and how their lives unfolded. So I think 
like this has been hyped up a lot so I really hope I'm gonna like it but I don't see how you could not like a true story um, obviously it's not gonna be a fun one but I think it's just something people need to read and I'm just looking forward to reading this one as well the next one I selected is a YA story book YA book and uh, it's Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell so I think if you are a book lover you at least you have at least heard from this book before so it's a love story and it's about Eleanor and Park and they're kind of not fitting in um, both of them are a bit strange and um, they just don't really fit into into the world and they meet each other and they fall in love and they're still really young so they kind of know that it's not gonna be easy but they will try it to become a couple anyway and yeah I just think it will be a really cute book to read and even though I might not be the right age for a young adult book anymore because I'm almost 25 I'm still gonna read it because I think I'm gonna like it and then the last book that I have selected is this one it's called The Ambassador's Daughter as the same title as in um, Dutch and it's written by Pam Janoff Pam Janoff and this is an historical fiction about World War One, so right after World War One, actually, and it takes place in Paris during 1919, and it's about a girl, like the daughter of a German ambassador, yes, and she falls in love with, I think, a French marine officer just like the enemy she falls in love with the enemy obviously that's not the best situation for being accepted I don't really know um, what happens then I don't really want to know I just think it will be a nice story to read all I know is that two people fall in love and they're not supposed to according to the rest of the world okay so that was everything for this video i hope you liked it if you did then please click the like button if you have any books that you would recommend to me or if you have read any of these books then please leave a comment below and tell me what you loved about them and if you want to see more videos then please click the subscribe button and yeah, I will see you again in my next video. Bye!